I think it's a home run for this company. I think if you look at what he's accomplished at Taco Bell, and if you look back the last couple of years, I mean, some of the big product and marketing news that the company's had have been some of the real success stories in the restaurant space. He understands the technology side and how mobile ordering works. I think more importantly, too, I mean, in an organization like Yum Brands, where you had to deal with a CEO of the whole entire organization and active investors, I think he's a good fit for what Chipotle and how it's going to be structured with Steve Ells and activist investors, obviously, with Bill Ackman still part of the group. So I think all, all, all counts, it's a, it's a great hire for the company. They're different, uh, it, just in terms of what you get there and on the menu. Yeah. Um, and and you, you say that, I understand the mobile ordering stuff, you gotta be a digital genius, and I understand all <laughs> that, but I think the most important thing is, is menu innovation, which I think Chipotle needs that to be, uh, yeah. you know, it's just me, but to be perfectly <laughs> honest, when I've been in there, it's like, what do you sort of make your own stuff? They got the meats, I, I mean, Taco Bell makes it really easy. And, and I know I like a lot of the stuff that they have. Do you ex expect Chipotle to, to resemble Taco Bell more after this, or will it still be, he'll just use the, the, the way Chipotle is right now and just improve that? What do you think? Yeah, I think that, that, that there are limitations. I don't think they can t exactly steal Taco Bell's playbook. I don't think what works at Taco Bell will work exactly for Chipotle, but I agree with you completely. I think what's happened in more recent years, I mean, I think a lot of consumers have moved past the food safety issues, but the experience and the menu innovation just haven't been there, and I think that's what Brian can bring to the table here. So I think that you'll see some, some new things added to the menu and you know, things like nachos or alcohol or different platforms, and maybe eventually something like breakfast, but that'll take some time. How about a taco? That's what I'm getting yeah. at. Why, why <laughs> Why can't I buy a taco? At, at soft there you go. I don't want a I soft one. I want. He can do soft tacos. I think they're they might okay, have even done but I want a choice. I'll get a soft taco and a hard shell taco. There you go. Yeah, I, and I think that's part of it too. I think just the customer experience and bringing things that we haven't seen before to Chipotle. I think that's what we need. I mean, obviously Chipotle has been you know known for its simplicity, and I think that's what's gotten them yes. to where they, they are today. But I think that they need that innovation right now. It's a very short attention span among consumers these days, and they need something like you see some of the innovations we've seen at Taco Bell to get things going and, and people to get excited about the brand again. Still some hangover from those problems. I mean, Taco Bell actually is selling clothes and stuff. I mean, he's he's. Uh, this guy knows how to extend a brand, right? Really does. Really Is does. it possible yeah, I think to, ex to extend a Chipotle brand when, when what you think about sometimes, maybe you see it, is that you know, they've had all these, these problems? Oh, it's not going to happen overnight, but I think there's an opportunity to do that. I, I think it starts with the innovation. If you get people excited about the product and the experience, if it's something you enjoy and you know, you're proud of the brand, then, then you can certainly move into those other channels. So I think it'll take time to, to fully repair the brand, but I think this is a, a right step in the, in the, in the right direction. It's, it, it, we talked about what happens at Taco Bell. I mean, should we worry about, see, personally now, I, should I worry about <laughs> Taco Bell? Are they, you know, they had a, like a, um, what are those things called? Uh, they're like a taquito. It was like a half taquito, half taco uh, a while back. And they wrap was all, with a different layer. Yeah, but it was, uh, then they, they, they stopped making it. But do you, not, here's my question is, do you want Chipotle going in the direction of Taco Bell, either both in terms of price or in terms of adding the, you know, these partnerships like with Doritos, like if they start doing like a deal with Doritos or something, does that make sense yeah. for them? Or is I, I don't know if they'll brand? do any deals. Yeah, I don't think they'll do any deals with, uh, with outside brands, at least in the near term. I, I think it's more just kind of coming up with creative ideas that we haven't seen on the menu before. Things like, hey, uh, yeah, maybe I'll go try that out in, in the consumer's eyes. I don't think we're going to see those the, the, to the same extreme level that we saw with uh, like a Doritos Locos Tacos. I don't think we're going to move that way. What but just they, new product. What do they have to do to just, there are still people who just won't go in at Chipotle, given the headlines over the past yeah. two years. What do they have to do to, to change that perception? Well, I think the first step right now, I mean, and you're absolutely right, that when, when the food safety issues came out, you, you certainly lost a segment of your consumers. Um, and, and then you have another group that's going less frequently, and then you have another group that just doesn't really care. I think the first and foremost step is getting that, that kind of group that is coming back, but maybe less frequently, maybe get them back in the stores more often. And once they do, once the people start seeing that, you know, that there's a lot of new things on the menu, the experience is great, I think that's what leads you back to that group that has maybe given up on them and maybe will give Chipotle a second look. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.